I'm thinking this road here might need fixed because it's starting to have some issues. So, do we have any buses using that road right now? We do. But that's actually okay. So take that out. Let's do a little bridge going over there. And what distance is this? Eight, okay. So that's eight. That goes to there. And uh, that will hopefully do some good things for us. That'll hopefully uh, just help traffic a little bit. Um, we are probably going to want to slightly redo some of this area. I also got rid of a path there, whatever. Um, that's fine, but now this traffic has to go like all the way around to get in here, which is not fine. So let me change some of this into avenues. I guess up to there as an avenue is probably fine. So that'll do. Uh, we probably want to get ourselves more pathways in here. And we probably also want to start looking at expanding our public transport. Because I realize uh, we haven't done that. We haven't done that yet. Uh, so 81% traffic. That's not great. I kind of want to get that up there again. But we'll do that shortly. Uh, that's going to be traffic lights. These are going to be stop signs. The whole way along here. That's probably going to be stop signs as well. And hopefully that'll do some good for us. I probably also want to set this uh, district up a little differently. So, yeah, we probably want to set this up as uh, having an old time policy. So, old time. That'll probably help traffic a little bit. And hopefully all this traffic can get in onto the, uh, the avenue in a better way as well. Hopefully. We'll, we'll certainly find that. Pirate Turtle says, how is the subway handling all the expansion? Um, it's all right. We, we could probably get more subway uh, lines down here, which honestly will be a great addition and a most welcome addition to the town because it means my subway is not quite going to look like what it looks like, which is... Um, whatever it looks like. I wouldn't possibly know. I I wouldn't possibly know what the subway would look like. I don't even... You know, I only got the internet very recently. Um, I, I you know, I am a... Uh, we're not, we're not going to get into this again. <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting into this again. We all know what it looks like. Can I get this to go there. I absolutely can. And then this can go straight up to there. So that's going to be a very sharp turn for a subway. That's probably fine. Probably fine. Nothing to worry about there. Having super sharp turns on the uh, on the subway. Not a big deal. Um, hasn't really done much for this part done here. Yet. Hopefully we can shortly. Um, let's do a subway station there. Let's do a subway station there. And let's do one down there as well. We'll get those all connected together. And thus far, I've not done a whole lot to make this look less, uh, you know, like itself. Uh, but that's okay. It's slowly getting there, I think. That's fine. I'm just... It's fine. It's fine. Let's just continue. Uh, let's see if I can get like a line out here. Or like down here, possibly. We have got buses on that bit, though. So maybe down here instead. We'll do a station there. We'll do one at that corner. Oh, they're never going to be connected, though. Um, that's a bit better. I think this is actually going to be the, the line that fixes the uh, the subway. And stops it from you know, being itself. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with it being itself, but if someone's a dick, then, you know, uh, besides the point. Whatever. Uh, so that can loop around there, and then these bits can sort of be like dead end lines, I guess. 
so we'll have one that goes from here and sort of goes all the way out and then comes back in itself and uh, goes down to there. Probably going to be a pretty busy line, but that's okay. This one can come into here and I'm actually going to let it sort of continue along a little bit further there. And we'll do that. And then we'll have a line that sort of comes down here a little bit. Goes up to here and uh, that might need to look back in itself as well. Although technically it can make a very sharp left turn there. So, okay, sure, that'll work. This is probably going to be very busy, uh, this this section of track. Probably going to need to expand it a little bit, but we'll not worry about it. We'll not worry about it. Let me do... Uh, let's see. Can I, can I do anything here to make this look less terrible? Um, the answer is maybe. Yeah, there we go. So does that, does that do anything at all? It does. There we go. So that's a bit better. It's all right, I guess. So hopefully that'll expand our metro. The metro now looks, it's kind of hard to see it, but it looks a little bit less, um, you know, proud. So that's fine. Uh, down this way, this is working, I assume. Yeah, we've got raw forestry products. We've got this making plain timber and this storing plain timber, which I assume is slowly heading out of time. That's all right. Uh, we should probably look into a bypass for the trains around here as well. So that they don't have to go through there. That's probably something we should have done on all of our cargo train stations, honestly, because that's going to make them pretty busy. But, well, I guess I could if I really wanted to. Uh, yeah, I actually, I think I see a solution here. I think I see a solution, so let's try this. Let's bring our cargo lines out here, and this is actually going to be a pretty good opportunity to um, explain what's going on with all the cargo lines, because I know I mentioned that we got cargo train lines, but... You know, obviously we did that when we weren't recording and when, you know, fewer people were in the Twitch chat and all that. So this is a good opportunity to be like, hey, here's what we got. Here's what we're working with. Uh, that looks terrible. I would very much like to not have that look terrible. So. That's better. All right. Can I take this underground here? I absolutely can. Okay. This is going to work beautifully. Uh, so bring this over. Give me road guidelines so I can line it up there. And... Okay, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Take those away a second. Um, line it up there. And do that. Right. So what we're going to do is create one of our usual um, terrible train intersection things basically so that one's gonna go off there uh sort of like that we'll do this one first so this one comes in this one goes there and then this one actually we need that we need that to go a little further Let's see, this goes down to about there, like that, right? So that'll give us a really nice, very sharp turn at the end, but that's fine. So that should give us uh, the ability for cargo trains to come in this way as well and sort of loop around a bit, which is for the best, I reckon. It's probably for the best. It'll just hopefully, you know, make things a little bit more pleasant around here. Uh, so connect you up. That's better looking. I like it. That'll do. That will hopefully do some good stuff for us. We still probably want to get things like bypasses in here, but I think we'll manage. There we go. So that guy's heading off into the tunnel and a way to uh, merge and do his thing. So I guess we will go ahead and uh, we will explain what's going on with all the uh, all the highways and the train lines. Basically, 
during the time that I wasn't recording, I was just sort of waiting for the population to grow, waiting for demand to build, which has all happened now, which is great. Uh, but I also wanted to make sure that traffic was moving okay, which it uh, currently sort of is. Um, part of that was... Part of the, the process of doing that was to get more... Um, to get more highways in here, get more connections to uh, the city, get more ways to enter and exit the city. So uh, this over here was expanded, this cloverleaf right here. And we took it way up this way and over here. We got this map tiled by getting 35,000 people. And I decided that we'd also have an intersection here to come down and link sort of towards the industrial area. And basically because we need to make sure that traffic on the uh, northern highway, if they're going to be trying to get to the southern highway, southern, they can do that without going straight through the middle of the city. So that's kind of what this is. And it's kind of a way around because there is traffic that's trying to bypass or uh, that's trying to come from here to here. And that lets us do that. As well as the highways, getting this area gave us access to trains. So we have trains coming in sort of alongside the, the highway, which is very busy. And actually has all of the lanes being used. Which, frankly, um, is a world first in City Skylines. I don't care what anybody says. We have a vanilla Let's Play where every single lane of a highway is being used. That is a world first. Never happened before. Will probably never happen again. World first. That's the, also the <laughs> also the title of this episode. Probably. But let's have a little look at the uh, oh four thousand. So we just added two thousand passengers to the uh, the metro there. The question is, where did we add them? There's quite a few there. Uh, there's quite. How's this whole holding up over here? By the way, uh, actually seems like it's holding up pretty well. Oh, we're a metropolis. Not bad. Oh, we got a new map tile and planes. We're gonna have some fun with that. Uh, this is super busy right here. Over here is fairly busy. This one, not so much. This one is super busy as well. Then up here is looking pretty busy. Um, not bad. Okay. So yeah, people are using the new metro lines. Let's get ourselves a new map tile. And uh, then when we grab this one, we just have to get, you know, we have to just unlock everything and, uh, and go from there. So we're getting there for sure. As for airports, though... Well, the question is, what do we, what do we do with the, uh, what do we do with those? So, we have our regular airport, we have our cargo airport. Obviously, we have blimps as well. Should we do blimps? I feel like we should do blimps. I'm gonna be honest. Let's do let's do blimps. We haven't done blimps in a while. I don't even know if I did them during industries. I, I kind of feel like doing blimps. They're fun, right? They're a bit different looking. So, they, they never get used. I've, I've never really seen blimps get used. But, sure. Let's clear out an area of, uh, of industrial zoning there. Let's throw a blimp depot in and see if it gets used. It probably won't, but whatever. We'll put some taxi stands either side to stop it zoning. And uh, that looks fine to me. All right. So, the problem with blimps is that the blimp stops are quite big, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, <laughs> they're also really inefficient. I just want to point that out. Like, blimps in this game are so, like, I, I, I would love to know who at Paradox came up with the idea for blimps, who at Colossal Order came up with the idea, because they look great, but they are so inefficient. Like, it has to be... There has to be someone at Colossal Order that's a really big fan of blimps. And someone, like, the, the designer and the gameplay guy probably had a fight. Because the designer was probably like, I want blimps, they look awesome. And the gameplay guy's like, yeah, but they're so slow and don't hold anybody. Like, I just, I don't know, they're so inefficient, but they just look cool. You know, that's kind of why I want them. Anyway, let's do, um, I don't know, let's see, what have we got for districts? We have a district here... Um, Hawthorne Square. Okay, I have an idea. Let's take out this zoning here. And let's do a blimp stop. Uh, right 
there. And let's do a path along the back of it. And then no zoning around it. We'll keep it clear. We'll keep it completely clear. Um, maybe we'll do some trees. Sort of low trees, but trees nonetheless. Just to... Um, just to sort of hide our crimes a little bit. Because this area is kind of nasty looking, so... Let's do some, like, oak trees. Just some plain old oak trees. Just going the whole way around to uh, hopefully make this area look just a little bit nicer. So, welcome down. Uh, I want to point out as well, I I genuinely do really like blimps in this game. They're just so inefficient. They're, they're a little bit better when you have the mod that lets you customize, like, the capacity of, um, of, of vehicles. But without that mod, they're kind of useless, to be honest. Um, or if you can, like, modify the speed of them as well, that really helps too. But again, vanilla Let's Play, so not really an option, but, uh, that's fine. They'll, again, it'll look cool, right? That's, that's kind of what we're going for right now. We want them to look cool. I'm also probably, and this is something that I'm sure a few people will be happy about, um, we're probably going to look into monorails at some point. Because I don't know the last time I did that. It might not be today, uh, as in it might not be during this live stream slash recording. Uh, so it might be like next week we look into monorails, but we are going to look into monorails at some point because I know people like them and I think I can make them look cool if I uh, if I spend some time on it. So we have two blimp stops there. Let's do a blimp stop just in here as well so that we can, uh, again, have them loop around really nicely. So, we'll do our usual thing with the trees. I'd really like... You know what would be really good for this? Prop line tool. Prop line tool would be so much easier for doing these trees. Or move it, because I could copy and paste the trees that I've already placed. But... Vanilla Let's Play! Alright. Straight across there. And, uh, let's start putting our line together for these. Because I don't really know how this works. I've completely forgotten. Um, so this needs to curve... Like that, I guess, and go straight across. That's going to look interesting. Is what that's going to look. Um, we could have the blimp sort of go like that, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, this one can then go like that. All right, that'll do. Let's get ourselves a blimp line. Even that's a weird sentence. That's even that's weird. But whatever. Uh, we'll have this loop around the downtown ish area of town. Um, and go to there. And then I guess, do we want it to loop back? I guess we kind of do. So you can get in a blimp that'll go the other way. And get a nice uh, aerial tour of town. So that way. And to there, and back to there. Alright. Let's see some blimps get going. There we go. Immediately looks... Immediately looks kind of silly. But whatever. It's unique. For sure. That's one way of looking at it. Definitely one way of looking at it. Um, so we have, we have commercial demand and industrial demand right now. I think I want to try and fill up this space beside the highway. So let's have a look and see what we could do. I kind of want a road that does go parallel to the highway down here. So that we can get some zoning. Uh, let's see. Give me a good spot right about there. So this will give us some zoning right against it. Meaning it will, uh just look better. It'll look more urban, I guess, would be a way to look at it. I, I realize urban is like a really vague way to, uh, to describe it, but it'll look urban-ish. Oh, I can't do that. That's a pain. All right. So it's about there. Can I get a little curve there at least? That'll work. Uh, we can bring some roads off of here. And we can uh, just have that sort of fill up that space as well. 
So let's see. Turn off the guidelines. And... Yeah, that'll work. That'll fill up the space. We've got a weird spot in the middle to work with, but no big deal. We can, uh... We can make it work. As for down here, I mean... Yeah, that's not going to do anything for me. Over here, we could go straight off to there. That actually... That kind of works. Yeah, that kind of works. I like that. So that gives us a connection. Uh, we probably do want to get some kind of avenue connection down there. Because this, thus far, doesn't really have any proper connections. Which is a bad thing. I also can't connect it up there because that's going to be uh, a nightmare for uh, for highway traffic. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I can do there. Not really sure what I could do there. Um, I do think we could do this. Do some road guidelines that kind of go along the uh, the train line there. And then curve this so that everything sort of... I, I basically want it all to be hugging like the train lines and the, 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 the highways and all that stuff. Because I just want it to be built up, right? This would be a lot easier with mods, but... Vanilla Let's Play. So, I I think I can make this work. Like bring this straight across. Yeah, that'll that'll fill up that space beautifully. Um, down here is going to be a similar story. Again, not really going to have ideal access for avenues or anything like that. But that's probably all right. That's that's probably all right. Um. As for here, a lot of these are dead-end roads, so I think we can get away with doing a, um, doing a little bit of that. That can go straight up, and then in here is going to be something a bit like that as well. So, a lot of dead-end stuff in there, but that's going to help to fill up the space. And again, we put it right next to, I don't know why I said that very Christopher Walken. Again, we're going to put some roads uh, all around here to uh, basically just uh, make it look huge the whole time you're on a train. This bit's going to be a little more tricky. Maybe we'll do some kind of park or I don't know. Maybe we will just try and do a road of sorts. I think a road of sorts might be the, uh, might be the answer. Bring that straight down. And, uh, straight across here, I guess. Not ideal, but, uh, again, that'll sort of fill the area up. I'll allow it. That's fine. That's, that's probably fine. So let's see. We have industrial demand. We have, uh, commercial demand. Let's go for a big stretch of commercial all the way down here. And I think we'll go across here as well. And then I think I do... Uh, I think it's going to have to be offices. I think it's going to have to be offices, like, the whole way down there. Also pipes. You thought I forgot. You thought I forgot. I didn't. You thought. You thought wrong. All right. You thought I forgot to do it. I didn't. Look at me. Learning to place pipes in City Skylines in 2019. Oh boy. That's 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 a good sign. Um there we go. So that whole area has uh has pipes. Should have power. I need to know. Are people using blimps? What's this? 58 people. At Van Bank. Really? Yeah, like I said, blimps are just not they're not they're not ideal. Uh forms of transportation in city skylines but they they do a job whatever that job may be they do it they do they do the job they have been assigned is what i'll say about blimps in city skylines that's uh you, you can't fault them there they they fly uh they float they're kind of elegant as they do so and uh really that's about it that's that's really about it for for the blimps so you know you, you can't fault them there. 
They're dedicated to their craft. Uh, let's see. So that should be a decent amount of residential and office zoning. That'll probably work towards getting rid of our demand for it. Interestingly, still have a lot of demand for commercial. It's actually kind of nice to uh, to see that demand. Because when I when I'm when I say that we had you know three hours with no demand for anything, I'm not kidding. It was straight up three hours. Um, of no demand for anything. Like it, it's it's it was ridiculous. Uh, but it's nice to have that demand though. It's also nice, you know. I'm gonna I'll be real. The the break I took from City Skylines, I I forgot how to do a few things in the game. Um, but I think it also got rid of a slight perfectionist trait that I had, where everything had to be laid out. Either that, or it's just the fact we're not doing modded. Um, but like. I don't know if I would have done an, an area as messy looking as this before I took a break from the game. You know what I mean? I don't know if I would have. I don't know if I would have been able to look at that and go, you know what, that's okay. I mean, I'll admit, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, Ugh. but I think, I think it's okay. It's vanilla, right? You know what I mean? It's, it's vanilla. There's only so much you can do. To get it perfect. I also cracked my neck when I did that. That was actually kind of pain. It was relaxing and simultaneously kind of painful. It was, it, yeah, it was a, that was an experience right there. Um, how many people? 63. It's getting there. It is, uh, it is getting there. Uh, let me see. Let's turn off guidelines real quick. And let's start bringing some of these roads through here. To try and fill up that space, which actually, to be honest, that space doesn't look as bad. So I'm happy about that. And we actually have room for a nice little park at the top of it as well. So we can uh, we can absolutely do that. Let's see. Let's do a, um, I don't know. Let's do a, some kind of nice little, little park here beside the highway. Because that's a thing. Not going to be a luxurious park, that's for sure. But it's a park. I like it. Uh, Lafayette City Park. Fancy. It's a very fancy name for a very not fancy park. Because it's not, it's not, it's, it is by no means going to be, uh, going to be the fanciest park that I've done. We also need to turn off all the angle snapping and all that stuff because the side of this doesn't line up perfectly, which is great. Yep, it still doesn't line up perfectly. That's great. So we'll go to about there and there. Turn angle back on. Go to about there. To about there. And we'll do that. Doesn't really need to curve on that left side. Um, and that'll that'll sort of do. What we can do with this is basically just throw in some tree-lined path or something. Have it kind of loop around on itself a little bit. So something like something like that, right? It doesn't need to be too fancy. Um, I actually really dislike that. So good job me.